Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about snowboard size and how to find the right snowboard size for you. So I've got my friends here, Tim and Sean, and they're gonna talk about the length of their snowboard. I'm gonna talk about mine, and hopefully this video will help you find the perfect size snowboard for you. So starting off guys, just the basics. You wanna base your snowboard length on your weight. So I'm 185 pounds, and my snowboard length is 159. And basically, it just comes up to the bottom of my neck, but the main part is that for my weight, this is the right size board for me. I could get a larger board if I was carving or needed a lot of stability. More length gives you more stability. Or if I wanted a powder tree board that floats well on the powder and turns very quickly, I could go for a shorter and wider board. But we're gonna ask these guys as well and see what size boards they have. So Tim, tell us about the size of your board and is it the right size for you? All right, so um, I'm a smaller, lighter dude. So I'm uh, about 5'5 five, five in height and about 140 to 145 pounds in weight. Um, so over the years, I've tried like a different range of snowboards from uh, like a 148 to about a 152. And I found that the sweet spot for me is this one right here, um, it's a 150. It comes up to right about my chin, pretty much. Um, and I found that that's, for my height and weight, that's a good uh, do-it-all size. Like it's, uh, it's great on jibs, great on jumps, it even rides powder pretty well. Like even in deep Japanese powder, it floats, floats enough. Um, I could probably go a little bit shorter if I were doing more like butter tricks and more jib tricks. I could go down to a 148, 149, or I've tried like my powder boards, usually like a 151 or 52 if I want that little bit more float. So, but I found that for my height and weight, 150 suits me as well. Yeah, thanks Tim, perfect. Uh, Sean, what's your weight and what size snowboard do you have? Yeah, so I weigh 165 and this board's a 151. So I think it's a little bit short for me, especially when I put it up to myself. But it was the first jib board that I bought. So I thought it'd be softer and a little bit easier to maneuver. Uh, but certainly now I'm moving up to the bigger features, I find it's a little bit less stable. Um, and with the combination of the board being quite flexible, I find it butters out underneath me a lot. So I think the next board I buy will be probably like a 154. I think that'll be more sensible for me. Yeah, so for your weight, your 165 and 154 seems like that perfect middle of the ground board for jumps and, and for overall riding. Yeah, it's been great. It's been, a, it's been good fun, but certainly now I'm moving up to the bigger features. It's uh, becoming more of an issue. Nice, so yeah, bigger board, more stability. And uh, yeah, lets you handle those bigger features. Yeah. Nice, man. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so I hope this will help you guys find the perfect size snowboard for you. Remember, when you're out there buying your first snowboard, go by the weight, check the weight scale on the website. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them for us down in the comments. Thanks to Tim and Sean for helping out with this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Cool. All right. I hope I don't freaking sneeze. I have this thing where I sneeze in sunlight. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's the thing that